this time a bit different. Uh, we're together. Not, we are. We're not. Uh, we had not as a couple. Now. No. <laughs> but it would be alright if we were. But we're together. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> we need to cut this out. But <laughs> but but it works perfectly. So again. So let's talk swimming. This time in action or in move 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 movable. Not not steady stable or. St we're not static. Static. We are static. moving. Static. We are moving. Uh, oh look There's at this my car. car! Wow, oh, nice, nice. See, that is that is something really good. So again, let's talk swimming. This time, uh, let's get away from the noise a bit. So this time, um, with Alex from Scale Swimming here with me, Hello. I'm Mark Smartala. We usually are on YouTube on our uh, static version of it. And yeah, what do we do? We talk about swimming. And today I have a topic. Listen. You don't know anything about it, but um, fun enough, just recently saw a guy, friend of mine uh, on, on, on his Instagram, he uh, brought, it, brought it out and I spoke with Abby about it as well, uh, about distance uh, versus quality on training philosophy. So the statement will be, you know, as I get a lot, I get also this question I get asked a lot. Um, how should I train or like how, what volume should I do and uh, that is usually a bit of a controversy yes it depends on distance but there is also other factors what do you say to it good question um, well number one the key thing is all about consistency you gotta be consistent but you've also got to have a plan um, if you don't have a plan, you'll be peeing into the wind, you'll be going somewhere, you'll be trying hard, but you'll have no direction or no purpose. So you need to, before you even start thinking about training, you need to think about what your goals are, how long you've got to achieve your goals, how much time that you've been, or how much time that you've got to be able to put into training each week, each month, or however long the period of time is that you're trying to train then you start thinking about the details such as volume, distance, whatever it might be. So yeah. yes, my first thing is you think about what your target is and how long you've got to do it. So, so I don't know, I mean, I was a very big fan of the philosophy my coach had. He's a good, he was a good friend of uh, Gennady Toreski, the coach of Alexander Popov, and they always did um, say quality over quantity so although I'm a, a middle to long distance swimmer myself and I was always like that I always had uh, we, we, we back in the days we didn't do more than five six k's in a session and um, yeah but then I moved coaches obviously after some time when you get, when you get older and then the philosophy suddenly changed where they said you know, you're a middle long distance swimmer so you need to grind and do a lot of volumes and quality is, is good because you have the technique but it's it's more the grind part what would you say to that yeah um, I'm agree man it's really like it's quite hard to subscribe um, advice yeah. or generic advice because everybody's situation is different right yeah. everyone's got a different background true you put a lot of work in load of volume when yeah. you're younger yeah so you've got that natural base um, some people that will be listening to this might be new to the sport or new to triathlon or new to swimming and have no swim base yeah true um, oh that's a good part yeah so, I'm sorry, I'm just concentrating. I don't want to get run over. Don't worry. Um, and <laughs> struggling to multitask. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Usually Actually, you're so good at it. I know. This is a uh, <laughs> this, this shows how I struggle with multitasking. Yeah, well, actually. So, so again. I'm digressing. <laughs> yeah, we no, digressed, didn't we? So no, no, we did. We did. We did. We need to. We need to come back to our topic. No, the oh, thing yeah. is, the thing is, the thing is. I hear a lot. I mean, first of all, the consistency part, I would say it works for everyone. No matter if you're a long distance swimmer, if you're a, a, a sprinter, if you're a middle distance swimmer, it doesn't matter. Consistency Correct. is the one thing which I would say that is true for everyone. It needs to be 
a constant thing for everyone, also consistency. But that's with life, right? Think of any anything that you apply yourself to. True. You need true. to be consistent in your approach. True, true, with true. With anything true. and everything. True. But then I will put out, yes, and there I go with the new philosophy. If you're a sprinter, you might do less volume. Um, and you do more of the technical part, you do more all outs, you yeah. do on all outs like go full speed and um, you do more in the in the gym, you do more static things and you look more on the key things like a start, like yeah. a turn, yeah. like where you hand it, like these kind of things. Yeah. And less you less concentrate on the on the grinding part. Yeah. But again, as a base you need to have a certain volume in in your body you need to have would you yeah you do otherwise you will just blow up i mean you say it's a new thing it's like it's not new but we're certainly seeing more and more people it's getting more traction online right yeah. um people are talking about it more people with some big accounts wow <laughs> wow not bad eh yeah, good. yeah so as i was saying uh yeah it's getting a little bit more traction and, and rightly so um and we've seen people for the, over the last few decades in being really successful with just focusing on those skills related training, the speed training, and just focusing on those little aspects. So when you come to compete and when you come to race, you're ready for it. Like even in Master Swimming, Every week we do some sprint work and we True. train, uh, I, get my, I get my swimmers to train at max pace because if you don't practice swimming at a race pace and at max pace, like how, how are you expected to then perform True. at True. max pace when True. it's time to do that? So True. you've got to do some max effort swimming. Yeah. Um, True. And you know, when you're tired, you, uh, oh sorry, and when you sprint, sorry. where are we going? Yeah. Straight. Okay. I mean, you can also go down there. Okay. Doesn't matter. We're gonna change direction so we have less people to yeah, to, to run over. Okay, so what I was gonna say is when you sprint, um, you fatigue very quickly. Yeah. And then it, you need your body to be able to respond to that fatigue, and you need to be able to hold your form and uh, get to the end of the wall as quick True. as you can. True. Yeah. And you can't do that unless you practice by going that fast. True. Um, so there's that part, but then you just need some endurance some muscle endurance to be able to do that true, true. so it's, it's getting that fine balance it, do you it, agree yeah, i would agree it, it is a fine balance um i think i think the statement that you say oh you know sprinters can uh if you want to be a sprinter just do three k's and go to the gym and what's that doesn't work and if you say you're going to be a long then the, the 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 philosophy that you say oh i'm a long long to middle distance swimmer or middle to long distance swimmer that you only grind and you look less on the technique would work more than the other version which I said. So I think in general you need to have a good base. Yes. You need to have a good technical base and you need to have a good amount of kilometers already in you while you're in your youth or at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, consistency is key and at some point once you have this base then you can uh, branch out to other things. Yeah. And you can branch out to uh, uh, either want to become a sprinter, middle distance swimmer, uh, or a long distance swimmer. Yeah. You? Yeah, yeah. So if uh, and you started off by saying uh, you've got to have that base. So imagine if you're someone new to the sport and you don't have that base. The things that I guess that we would say is that you need to build that base, but also build that base with good form and technique. True. Because otherwise you could be smashing out kilometers every session but just so ineffectively and inefficiently sure. you're just wasting your time yeah so if you're new to the sport and um, you need to try and start building that base like look at look at some videos of technique go and get some one-to-one -one sessions and get the form right early yeah and then you can focus on building up the volume building up the base and then you can start sharpening up by I would just add, I would just add there that I would just add there that if you're already going that direction it's not done that you only get a coach and you do technical sessions and you have te 10 technical sessions that it's done with that I would also argue that um, in, in order to have the technique settle you need to in the meantime so let's say if you have a 
I don't blame me. Someone wants to steal a car, I guess. Uh, or they're breaking into a bank. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It sounds a bit weird. It's a heist. It's a heist there. Yeah, it's a heist. So again, I would argue that, let's say you have a coach now and he will help you with your technique. Um, you would need to, um, and you have one week, you have a training session on Tuesday and on Thursday, and then again the next week on Tuesday and Thursday. In the meantime, you should do some swimming in general, where you even don't look at the technique at the beginning. I would just add that to it, but yeah. the rest, no, I completely yeah. agree. We're, we are aligned in our thinking, which is good, otherwise, um, I was going to say it'd be awkward, but it wouldn't, it'd be good no. to listen to, but um, we, uh, we're in alignment. No, so. That's good, that's good. So, again, just to wrap it up, consistency is key um, for any uh, any distance you want to swim, uh, a good base is key for any distance you want to swim, and afterwards, once you have that, you can branch out to... Uh, be a, a, a middle distance, long distance, or even a sprinter, and then you need to see what you want to do for your specific uh, style. Yeah, exactly. And what your targets are. Yeah. That's what you got to think about. Yeah, true, true. So that was it from the bit different version of Let's Talk Swimming. Yeah, I'm tired from it. <laughs> see you next time.